Sometimes when visitors come to Buckingham Palace, they're a little bit surprised to see that it's a bit of a scaled down version of a royal palace. If you think about other royal palaces in Europe or places like Hampton Court or Windsor here in London, comparatively Buckingham Palace has a fairly simple design. It's not set in acres and acres of land, right? We can see the front door, it's the big archway in the middle. Uh, there's no water fountains out front, no statues, no carvings. You've got some gold in the gate, but that's basically it in terms of decoration. And the reason Buckingham Palace has such a simple design is because originally it was not supposed to be a royal palace. And back in the 1700s, all the land here belonged to the crown. And King George I gave permission for his best friend, the Duke of Buckingham, to build a house here on his property. So the Duke built Buckingham House, which looked very similar to what you're seeing right now, but it was much, 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 much smaller. Now eventually, George the first great grandson came to the throne as King George the third. And even though he was king, George the third never really liked spending a lot of money or sort of showing off his wealth. So instead of building himself a brand new palace, George decided actually he wanted to live somewhere a little bit more low key, like Buckingham House. So he asked the current Duke of Buckingham if he could buy it. And I'm sure you know that when the king asks if he can buy your house, there's only one answer you're going to give. So George III and his wife Charlotte moved into Buckingham House, and they were so happy here that 14 of their 15 children were born inside the house. But the public were not happy. People thought it was embarrassing that their king was living in a house. And they sort of felt like if you're the great leader of a great nation, then you should be living in a great grand royal palace like all the other kings in Europe. In fact, some of the newspapers here in Britain stopped calling him King George, and they began referring to him as Farmer George. So his advisors told him to listen to the people. And he did. He made the building bigger, but he absolutely refused to change the way that it looked. And that's how it's been ever since. It was refurbished by Queen Victoria in the 1840s. It was expanded to the size you see now in the 1910s. That's also been added, added rather the balcony on the front that you always see the royal family standing on at their big events. And then during the Second World War, it was struck by a bomb. Uh, from the direction you are facing, the left side of the palace was completely blown out. They had to totally rebuild it, but they never did update the original design. So this is why in terms of royal palaces, it isn't necessarily as elaborate or over the top as some people are expecting.